Tiapride is a drug that selectively blocks D2 and D3 dopamine receptors in the brain. It is used to treat a variety of neurological and psychiatric disorders including dyskinesia, alcohol withdrawal syndrome, negative symptoms of psychosis, and agitation and aggression in the elderly. A derivative of benzamide, tiapride is chemically and functionally similar to other benzamide antipsychotics such as sulfuride and amisulpride known for their dopamine antagonist effects. Medical uses Alcoholism Research in animal models and clinical studies in alcoholic patients have found that tiapride has anxiolytic effects. Dopamine hyperactivity has been linked with alcohol withdrawal syndrome Oz, suggesting that tiapride's antidopaminergic effects are the most likely mechanism for its clinical efficacy, although others believe some other mechanism might be involved. Alcoholic patients treated with tiapride at a dosage of 300 mg per day reported reduced psychological distress and improved abstinence from alcohol. In another study in which alcoholic patients were given titrated doses up to 800 mg per day, subjects showed significant improvements in ratings of withdrawal, craving, psychiatric symptoms and quality of life. While tiapride does not affect positive symptoms of psychosis such as hallucinosis or delirium sometimes manifested in alcohol withdrawal syndrome, if combined with a drug such as carbamazepine that addresses those symptoms, it is ideal for treating alcohol dependency because its metabolism does not depend on liver function and it has low potential for abuse. This sets it apart from the benzodiazepines, which are contraindicated with alcohol and can be addictive. Moreover, tiapride's rapid onset makes intravenous or intramuscular injection prior to or during withdrawal episodes particularly effective. Agitation and aggression Agitation and aggression are also associated with hyperdopaminergic activity. Antipsychotic drugs are the most common treatment for these symptoms, but often come with a host of side effects including orthostatic hypotension and deficits in vigilance and attention. One clinical study in agitated elderly patients compared the effects of tiapride, haloperidol and placebo and found that while the two drugs had comparable efficacy superior to the placebo effect, tiapride had fewer and less severe side effects than haloperidol. Tiapride's selectivity for the limbic system, which is associated with emotion, could underlie its particular efficacy in treating these affective disorders. Moreover, its selectivity for the dopaminergic system is thought to account for its avoidance of the side effects typically associated with other neuroleptic drugs, such as chlorpromazine, which act on a number of neurotransmitter systems. Movement disorders While tiapride preferentially targets the limbic system over the striatum, its moderate antagonistic effect on striatal dopamine receptors makes it effective in treating motor deficits that involve this area, such as tardive dyskinesia and chorea. Tiapride S. Moderate efficacy at D2 receptors may explain why it is able to treat motor symptoms without the extrapyramidal symptoms caused by excess dopamine blockage, which are sometimes seen in haloperidol or chlorpromazine. One clinical study of patients with tardive dyskinesia associated with Parkinson's disease found that tiapride significantly improved motor abilities without affecting other Parkinsonian symptoms. Side effects Although it is considered a safe medicine, it is, like sulfuride, strictly contraindicated for patients under the age of 18 due to its effects during the process of puberty. This is likely related to its side effects on levels of the hormone prolactin, which is involved in sexual development. There are also insufficient clinical data on the other side effects in adolescence. Tiapride has been found to cause excess prolactin levels in plasma, which can cause decreased libido, infertility and increased risk of breast cancer. This is because dopamine plays a primary role in regulating prolactin release by binding to D2 receptors on prolactin-secreting cells in the anterior pituitary. Thus, when tiapride blocks these receptors these cells are disinhibited and release more prolactin. 
The side effect reported most commonly to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, is rhabdomyolysis, a condition characterized by muscle tissue breakdown. Cardiac abnormalities such as prolongation of the QT interval and torsades de points have also been observed. Dosages above approximately 300 mg per day risk inducing tardive dyskinesia. However, given the drug's fairly wide window of tolerable doses, dosages can often be titrated to obtain the desired effect without bringing about motor deficits. In general, tiopride is considered an atypical antipsychotic because of its low risk for extrapyramidal symptoms, such as akinesia and akathisia. These effects are thought to be reduced in tiopride relative to typical antipsychotics because of its selectivity for the limbic system over extrapyramidal areas that control movement. Pharmacodynamics Tiopride is a dopamine D2 and D3 receptor antagonist. It is more selective than other neuroleptic drugs such as haloperidol and risperidone, which not only target four of the five known dopamine receptor subtypes, D14, but also block serotonin, 5-HT2A, 2C, alpha-1 and alpha-2 adrenergic, and histamine H1 receptors. Compared to these drugs, tiopride has a relatively moderate affinity for its target receptors, displacing 50% of 3H reclopride binding at a concentration of 320 nm at D2 receptors and a concentration of 180 nm at D3 receptors. Tiopride displays a relatively high regional selectivity for limbic areas. One study found that, in contrast with haloperidol, which displays equal affinity for receptors in the rat limbic system and striatum, tiopride shows over three times as much affinity for limbic areas than striatal areas. Another study in rats found tiopride's affinity for the septum, a limbic region, to be over 30 times as high as for the striatum. Efficacy at the D2 receptor is moderate, with 80% of receptors occupied even in the presence of excess tiopride concentrations. Pharmacokinetics Tiopride is primarily taken orally in the form of a tablet, but can also be administered via intravenous or intramuscular injection. A liquid oral formulation is also available for elderly patients with difficulty chewing solids. For all three methods of administration, the bioavailability of tiopride is approximately 75%. Peak plasma concentrations are attained between 0.4 and 1.5 hours following administration, and steady state concentrations achieved 24 to 48 hours after beginning administration three times a day. It distributes rapidly and exhibits virtually no binding to plasma proteins, giving it a relatively high volume of distribution. Benzamide and its derivatives are highly water-soluble, and because of their polarity are believed to cross the blood-brain barrier via carrier-mediated transport. Elimination of tiopride, mostly in its original form, occurs through renal excretion with a half-life of 3 to 4 hours. Recommended dosages of tiopride vary with clinical symptoms. In alcoholic patients, delirium or pre-delirium associated with alcohol withdrawal can be alleviated by administration of 400 to 1,200 mg per day or up to 1,800 mg per day if necessary. Tremors and other dyskinches can be treated with 300 to 800 mg per day. For reducing agitation and aggression in elderly patients, 200 to 300 mg per day is recommended. Availability Tiopride is marketed under various trade names and is widely available outside of the United States. The most common trade name for tiopride is tiopridal, which is used throughout Europe, Russia, as well as parts of South America, the Middle East, and North Africa. It is also sold under different names in Italy, Atalprid, Seropril, Japan, Tialarid, Tiaril, Tiaprim, Tiaprazil, Chile, Seropril, Germany, Tiaprid, Tiapridex, and China, Tiapride. See also References